Hey everyone. Oh, hold on one sec, one sec. Yeah, should be good. Hey everyone, and it's finally time to say welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm Sarvesh Kes and I create content that help you win hackathons and get placed. So without further delay, let's get started and we are going to see what is a LAM Research Challenge. I have been a part of LAM Research Challenge in 2024 and LAM Research Challenge is back in 2025. Before getting into the video, I have given the link for application in the description and also my Instagram page which has close to 39,000 followers where I post daily updates on hackathons and internship. So if you want the link to it, it is in my description. So LAM Research is a US based company which is known for its semiconductor equipment manufacturing. If you are using a phone or any other electronic gadget probably you are using one of it from LAM. So LAM makes equipment that helps manufacturing those semiconductor chips. I just want to share my past experience. I've been to a lot of hackathons, like close to 20 to 25 hackathons. And trust me when I say this, LAM Research 2024 was the toughest and demanding hackathon that I've been to. Like it had all my skills and all my experience that I had learned from all the other hackathons had put into it. So it was some crazy level hackathons and trust me when I'm saying it. So like it was some crazy stuff and this is what we, we built in the final round. So I was a finalist in that hackathon and we built a robot that can move around in all the directions and pick one thing from a CD rack and place it on the other CD rack. So basically they asked us to build something uh, that can lift and keep it on another way. So it is similar to a nano manufacturing unit where you will be you will have to embed semiconductor on one from one surface to another surface they are focusing on building robotic systems that will do that by itself so basically they were looking for system engineers when i participated in 2024 so they were looking for system engineers you i'll just show you what a system engineer does so you probably know what is a system if you are from electrical or electronics you know what a control system is right so we know there's an input there's an output there's a feedback loop all this has to work together a system engineer takes care of all this and a proper system designer defines the architecture components and modules and interfaces all this together you must be aware of both what is happening inside and outside to be a proper system engineer you will be working in and around this but like what you are going to build is a bit of related to what it is actually. Oh, it was a crazy experience. Uh, actually, if you are traveling from a far distance, they are giving you your f flight allowance. And I think two days of hotel accommodation that I got and it, the finals happened in IAC Bangalore. I got to meet a lot of other people who were crazy minds. The first price was five lakhs crazy all the other hackathons that i've participated maximum was like close to one lakh but this was super crazy hackathon and probably i'll make a part two video of my experience i'll just explain what is lamb research 2025 is all about and why you should participate so basically if you are into hackathons you should try lamb research challenge because uh, like it is being conducted by lamb and you have chance of getting internship let us see what is for LAM Research 2025 is offering you. So in LAM Research 2025, this challenge, you'll be tackling some most challenging system engineering problems uh, in the semiconductor manufacturing industry. And this is the second edition. And since like, though it's their second edition, trust me, it was like super crazy hackathon and you should be participating in it. Like uh, these are some of the glimpses from the previous edition and uh, so basically uh, what you will be getting in this hackathon is uh, like there are basically three rounds uh, first round there will be a question like it is an individual uh, question answers round there you can expect questions from your domains be very thorough in the basic concepts of your questions when i spoke with one of the person who has uh, set up this question paper he told me that 
their focus is to identify people who are very good in the basics they can combine the basics of all the concepts like basics of all the domains and work if you are trying to use chat gpt they clearly know that they'll you'll be rejected in the first round itself let us see what are the different rounds in 2025 if you are from electrical mechanical mechatronic robotics ec or computer science engineering and currently studying then you are eligible for this the first round is an individual round you will be having a test and based on that you will be put into a group which is which is diversified group for the second round based on that you will be asked to build in a digital arena a single arm robot and a line follower robot in platform like gazebo once you get selected based on the second round while you complete building this bot in the digital platform you will be called for the finals which is which will most likely happen in iic bangalore because it happened there last time hotel and travel reimbursement will be done and for the finals accommodation will be provided in bangalore as per the event schedule the travel expense is also being covered by the team as well for the third round and third round is most suspense kind of round because uh, once you enter their venue you will know what you are like you are supposed to do i'll i can share what happened for me in the third round in when i participated in the final round but i think the video will get long i can just give you a gist of what happens so it will be kind of like a master chef kind of environment you'll be given a period or like like a certain amount of time to build and whenever they are telling you to start you can start and uh, how you pick the ingredients over there you will also be asked to pick uh, what are controllers you are going to use for building it what kind of motors you are going to build use to build the system you need to be thorough with the mechanical and all those torque and how these systems work uh, if you are selecting the wrong boards or the wrong kind of combination and if you want to change it again some kind of marks will be deducted and at certain point of time there will be uh, regular interval checks and there will be mentors super skilled people i have met over there top notch skills man uh, trust me uh, if you want to get this experience this is not a paid video i'm just uh, i just doing it uh, out of my own interest uh, it is some kind of crazy event that you should attend the knowledge that you get out of this will be super good and will be helping you throughout uh, maybe for even for your placements thanks for watching till the end uh, more details i'll do in part two if you want me to make one if you want to tell me anything you can just let me know in the comments uh, hit that subscribe button and keep following me for more thanks for watching bye